we are using russet potatoes. First, we need to scrub and clean the potatoes. To make life easier, we're gonna separate the potatoes in like sizes. And that way it's more uniform in look and also cook time. Larger is easier to handle, or so I hear. Safety first. Before we cut, place a damp cloth under your cutting board so it will not slide. Make sure your knife is appropriate and sharp for the job. I'm going to square off the potato and use the same prep and cooking technique to make potato skins. This way we don't have any waste. And the boss is starchy about wasting starch. Star starch potatoes, that's starch. We should have some cold water with us to throw in our potatoes as we cut. Prepping for the final fry. First, let's agitate the potatoes in the water, then drain and repeat the process a few times until the water is fairly clear. Bring water with a few tablespoons of salt to a boil, then add the rinsed potatoes to the water for about three to five minutes. As that is working, heat up the oil to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Take your potatoes out of the bowl and dry them as much as you can. You can see that they have turned slightly translucent. I have a small amount here, so after drip drying them for a while, I'm just gonna hand dry them with a paper towel. Now we have to do a first fry to prepare for frying. Kind of like that corporate meeting that you go in expecting to have a resolution, then you realize quickly that it's just a meeting about the meeting that you should be having that you'll meet later on. After this first fry, out. you're safe to freeze and store. Now we will turn our oil up. If out of the freezer, 425 degrees Fahrenheit is about what I suggest. I'm experimenting with it from this stage, so 350 degrees Fahrenheit is what we should set it on. Either way, the timing is going to be about 5 to 6 minutes. The way I judge is, once the fries are floating, it's about one more minute. Some time back, I had some really good fries that were battered. And I've been wanting to play around with that concept. When we did the batter video, link above, I really fell in love with that tempura mix with the onion rings. So my plan is to spice up the tempura mix with some Lowry seasoning and black pepper. So as a control, I fried one normally and one just dipped in the batter. Although good just dipped in the batter, rolling them in flour first was the ticket. Someone should watch their own videos. Even though not necessary to make perfectly good potato skins, I went ahead and battered them and cooked them along with the fries. I cooked them for probably about an extra minute but unless it's a really large potato skin, it actually cooks about the same amount of time. All this was really good hot, of course, but surprisingly, it was actually pretty good room temperature as well. I did have a few a few days later. They also reheated very well, so happy experimenting. 